Okay. So what do you want to know? Yeah, just like what we've just been discussing just now uh, about elef uh, Elephant and Castle. Well, the Elephant Castle, <coughs> according to the research, was first just a junction. Yeah. Just a simple junction in the road. Yeah. There was nothing special about it. Yeah. And it gets its name from a cutlery maker. Elephant and Castle. Yeah, because on his, he, he was the, the honourable cutler of something it was a weird long name and he made he was based at that point because it was on the way to surrey so you could get down to the coast and down to the port yeah. and then on the other way he was on the way to the city via london bridge and and then they on his shield that he hung outside his door was an elephant with a castle on his back so they took the name from the shield from it wasn't called elephant and castle that was just what he wanted as his picture to make it memorable so so uh, what was the original name there was no original name it was just it was just a crossroads in the middle of the road there was nothing there it was only when the bridges started to be built so tower bridge was the first one and they had to add the roads so the a2 which is now the, the a2 which was the old kent road which wasn't called the Elkin Road, it was called, uh, I think it was called the Surrey Road at the time. Interesting. And it was basically the road that led from Dover through Surrey. The Surrey come all the way up to the Elephant Castle at that time. And then it led to London Bridge to go across the river. The original London Bridge, the first one, the wooden one. Then when all the other bridges started to open, it became the Elephant Castle became a junction point. Then churches started to open, and Tabot then, it was like there was like six or seven churches over the years that were there. The, the park at the Elephant and Castle, that's an old graveyard from the original St. Mary's Church that was there since like 1620. And then it was like, I think that went about 1800, they got demolished and rebuilt and demolished and rebuilt and then demolished again, it got blown up during the Second World War. Then, uh, but at that point, it's the whole name for that whole area, which is now known as the Elephant Castle, was Newington. That's where we get Newington Butts and all of that. So the reason Newington Butts is called Newington Butts is because that's where the archery was done. <laughs> During the medieval times, it was Newington had its own archery butts because every man under the age of over the age of thirteen had to practice archery at least for an hour a day. <laughs> just their stupid, uh, just one of their their, their warrior style because they had an army that needed men, so every man had to do it. Okay, now uh, what century are we talking about? This is like you. this is this is this is fourteenth century. When, when they were doing Newington Butts. Okay. And there was, that again, it was basically a dirt road that was close to the river. And that was, because the whole of Southwark, or yeah. Southwark as it was then, yeah. was basically tanneries, gambling houses, whorehouses, and uh, theatres. That's why the Globe Theatre's built, this side of the river. Because it was where you went, if you wanted a night out, you went to Southwark. Yeah. And that's that's why William decided to build his yeah. Globe Theatre where it is. And it was that whole thing of the whole area was just a mass of like working class people who the men worked hard all day in the tanneries, drunk hard most of the night, got up the next morning and went went back to work again. <laughs> and that was it. Have a good time. Yeah, well they had to. <laughs> If you consider the tanneries then used mercury and horse urine yeah. to tan leather. So you smelt nothing but mercury and yeah. horse urine all day, every day. So you needed something to keep you... Uh, plus yeah. the water wasn't very good. The water was terrifyingly bad. It was polluted, it was... Everything was... They, they think the water's bad now. You imagine having human feces, human waste in it all the time, no matter where you're drinking it from. Yeah. That's where Typhoid Mary gets her, uh, yeah. she was infected by the water and then she infected other people. So. Actually what you're saying is so true because at times I go to Greenwich mm. following the river yeah. and at times when the water goes in mm. 
I see bones. You see oh, really? bones. Yeah. So, and then because of Greenwich, because of the, the barracks, yeah. I mean barracks, yeah. I think during that time, that year, that was, that was, that was the, the kitchen, cleanest. Everything was in the kitchen, which of yeah. course. Well, that was, that was the, the cleanest part, of, one of the cleanest yeah. parts of London, because that's where the <coughs> Greenwich uh, College is now, where yeah. the university is. The old, yeah. That was Henry VIII's pleasure palace. That's where he did jousting, he did all his, his archery contests. Yeah. He basically spent most of his year in Greenwich because it was out uh, far enough outside London yeah. to be uh, to be away from the city but close enough that he could travel there by coach or by boat rather than... So he would travel by boat, come down from his, his palace. It wouldn't have been back in the palace then, it would have been... Uh, at Knightsbridge, he would have come down there, come into the river and yeah. gone down by by oars as well, not by sail, but he would have rowed mm, down. Yeah. Then there's, uh, but getting back to this area, yeah, exactly, yeah. Where you have uh, Walworth Road. Yeah. Walworth is one of the oldest parts of of South London. Walworth Road. Yeah, Walworth, Walworth the, the the London Borough of Walworth, which is now come under part of Southwark. Yeah. Was it was in the it's in the Doomsday Book. It's Whoa. that old. Yeah, 10, 1086, 1082, sorry. Whoa. Yeah, so it was called Woolen Dean then. Oh, that but was it's, the original name. Yeah. Then it changed. And then it changed because it's the, they, they, it was, it was Saxonized. So it was, okay. and it means, uh, what is it? River, river, uh, river forest woods or something like that. It's, because hmm. it was all, it was all farmland. Yeah. And as time went on, Wharf became its own little enclave, it, uh, just down from the elephant, because it was, and it was owned by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Okay. So he had the massive area there, yeah. where he would grow, and they would all of the products there went into making clothes for the monks and the priests at Canterbury Cathedral. Oh, that's new. So that's it's it's very strange, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, uh, then over the years it became. It's new to me, considering that they actually even haven't got like you'd think a monastery would be in Walworth Road. The somewhere, well, something. See, it went right to the river, so Walworth went all the way to the river, and that's where the the uh, Lambeth Palace is. Wow. So Lambeth Palace was basically like. It, they call it Lambeth Palace now, but it would have been under Woolworth then. Mm. So that palace would have been part of that area. Oh. And then you've got, because it, it was a huge, massive, great area. But then as the years went on, yeah. it changed and it changed hands and it went into a, being a manor in its own right. The manor of Woolworth, which is now a pub name. And, and eventually, as it would get into the 60s and the 70s, yeah. Woolworth became the headquarters for Labour. Labour had their headquarters in on the Wharf Road, wow. which is now a pub and a hostel. Which is yeah, something Labour like Party, that has changed. Yeah, the Labour Party yeah. headquarters opposite opposite John Smith's house, mm. which was named after the Labour MP who in 1984 became the Labour leader for the London Borough of Southwark who died a couple of years later from a massive heart attack and they named the building across the road, which was the, basically it was like the uh, town hall for the Woolworth. And it, they named the building after him. So, because he was only, I think they said he was in his 50s. Oh, that's young. He was only young. So, but he'd done a lot for, and back in the 80s, whenever you see them talking about labor, mm. they were always filmed outside the town hall, mm. videoing across the road. Okay. Because that was where Labour headquarters was. That was the headquarters for the whole of Labour Party. Yeah. And then they moved across the river to be on the same side, just up the road from uh, uh, Lambeth Bridge and Vauxhall Bridge. No, Vauxhall Bridge. That's right. They moved into Vauxhall Bridge and then they moved down to Lambeth when they redeveloped and they yeah. got that big old tower block there. Oh, so yeah. And then you've got uh, what else is there? <coughs> all of the all of the all the roads that lead. Two from the bridges yeah. mm. that go to St George's Circus and then to the Elephant and Castle. Mm. That's what 
so made. I'm trying castle. to understand, like, Elephant and Castle maybe probably looking like years back. I don't know whether it's true, but I was speaking to someone, that's what they say, they mm. told me, that basically Elephant and Castle, more or less, all the way to as far as to New Cross? No. No, it, it basically was just a small area. They yeah. had a couple of theatres. Yeah. They had a massive hotel. Yeah. They had a giant church. Okay. Which is where the tabernacle is now. Yeah. That's the basically the first floor and the basement mm. are where it is now. Because where the original tabernacle was went all the way across the road to virtually where the shopping centre started. Mm. It was a huge, huge building. Absolutely massive. But it got bombed during the Second World War, and the only bit that left was a bit of the first floor and the basement at the back. So what they did was they slid the whole building back, mm. made it about 50% smaller, if not more, and put it where it is now. It's been there since like 1875 or something like that, the tabernacle. Wow. And then, uh, yeah, it's been there a while, and you know, it was on a, a site of an old church, St George's, and then there's other churches been around there. Yeah. Big hotels, we had two cinemas which were theatres. The original coronet, which they just demolished. Ah. Ah, see, that was the second <laughs> coronet. The original coronet was on the other side of the road, which was the Elephant and Castle Theatre. Okay. Or the Royal, they called it the Royal Theatre, because okay. the Queen went there and things like this, and Victoria went there. Mm. And it was on the other side of the road, direct next to the railway line, mm. right on the opposite side of the road. Yeah. And it became a theatre then it became a music hall, then it became a cinema. Okay. Then that got closed down, demolished, and they rebuilt that big estate there. Mm. Okay. Then the coronet, whose name it was, ended up being as a cinema, crossed over the road to that little cinema, which mm. was basically a cinema by day mm. and a nightclub, a music venue by night. They had I collapsed the feeling is still doing the same. It's really? gone. It's oh, they've okay. demolished it now. It's all gone. It was a nightclub for years after. Okay. Like the last twenty odd years, it's been it's been a nightclub. What about the current coronet? The current coronet. There is no current coronet. It's gone yeah, completely. They demolished it. Okay. So what's the name of that? Not theater. Cinema. The cinema's gone. There is no cinema in so the Elephant Castle anymore. So what's the building? At times that I building was the coronet building that was there up until about a year, about six months ago, was a nightclub. It was a nightclub okay, and nightclub. live music venue, but it never, it, it always, they called it live music, but it was a DJ. Okay. And they, uh, basically, they, when they were, when they're now they're redeveloping that whole site, yeah. from Alkent Road to Wharf Road and across the front, yeah. that's all been demolished and it disappeared. So, it's all gone. And it ended the whole history of that part of the, Wharf Road. And the shopping centre, like I said earlier, the shopping centre was built in 1965 mm. after to cover up the bomb damage from the First World War, or from the Second World War. And then it gradually, the, 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 the guy who designed it designed loads of different buildings across the city. But he was meant to, it was meant to be the best, the biggest and best indoor shopping centre outside America. First one in Europe. But it ended up, as I said, it was 120 shops they wanted. Mm. So over three, three floors, 120 shops they wanted, boutiques, everything. Yeah. And it ended up being 29 shops mm. over two floors with a bowling alley and a bingo hall. <laughs> but they were basically closed for the last five or six years due to the bingo hall to violence. Mm. Because you get people, the youngsters from Woolworth and the youngsters from Bermondsey, mm. who see Elephant and Castle as like neutral ground, Mm. We'll go up there and start fights and have rows and all this. Mm. And then, so they basically would close, the police would close it every so often if they knew there was going to be a big event, it would be closed. Wow. The bingo hall was basically, I think there were about 20 old people that went in there on the regular. And that oh, was it. Oh, had a bingo hall as yeah, well? Yeah, it was a full bingo hall, big old bingo hall as well. Wow. But, and then there was the old courtrooms in the inside the main building itself, where they did the... What was that one that the, the young black guy that was killed down down in um, Erif that way? They stomped him to death. The four the four white yeah, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember his name, uh, but it, they they, they held yeah. their trial in there because yeah. they all got off, didn't they? They never went to prison for it, yeah. but yeah. but they done a civil suit and they all got off. And sadly, you know, 
Yeah, that I, think, was... I think three of them ended up in prison on other things anyway, so it didn't yeah. really matter. But yeah. and then uh, you know, then there's lots of other, lots of other bits and pieces that yeah. you know happened over the years. But that's basically the Elephant and Castle is a. It was always been, and it still is, mm. a major junction. It is for all traffic. It is the Northern Line, Bakerloo Line, mm. all go through there, yeah. and the Bakerloo Line starts there. Which is unusual because it's the, one of the only lines that starts close to the river. Mm. So it was the first, I think they were done in like 1856, 1857. So they were old, old lines. Yeah, old. And the, the, the Northern Line is the first deep level mm. uh, underground line that came south, south of the river. Okay. And that's why it went through Elephant and Castle because it was a major hub. Mm. So you could come out there, there was a big hotel, a huge hotel, 200 room hotel. And it's right where that the, the big glass block is now. The so mirror block. Elephant and Castle was really a oh, big it's deal. Got some, it's got some history it's to really, it. And it still yeah. is. It still is a very big deal with the universities. Yeah. Because the South Bank. Yeah. Well you've got South Bank University and then you've got the, the College of Arts there. Yeah. Which used to be I think the that's gonna be a university as well. Or it's something. it's it's still gonna be the College of it's not gonna be called the College of Arts, it's College of Communication now. Okay. Because it used to be uh, visual arts and science but now they've turned it more to communication okay. so it's part of the same university but just on its own little campus yeah. that's why they're redoing all the building and doing all the work on it now yeah. but then you know you go you go up and out there's all of these big businesses that used to be be there that have moved away and they've built these brand new office blocks and lots of little businesses are moving back which is really nice to see that you've got these lovely Lovely little businesses, small single single room, single floor buildings. Yeah. You know, really lots of empty space, but you know. I didn't realize Elephant and Castle. Elephant and Castle, the, the it's first time a junction history. was put together was about 1620. Wow. And literally it was a crossroads. That was it. Well, it left from Newington. Yeah. It was the Surrey Road, which is now which is now the old Kent Road. Mm. And they went up and then it went up to Tower Bridge, well, not Tower Bridge, it would have been London Bridge then, London. so London Bridge, and then that was it. Okay. And basically it was a place for the middle classes and the working class to yeah. to, to live and to work, because yeah. they could get anywhere, because the roads led everywhere. Mm. And then as time went on, they added more roads and yeah. more, and that big lovely glass cube in the middle of yeah, the Yeah, I was going to ask Castle. you about that cube. Right. It's an event. Wow. That's all it is. It's just an event for the for the London Underground. That's it. It's just perfect. It's it's, just like it's something so years. simple. Yeah. That, but that was the whole point. It yeah. was meant that someone's over the years they said that an artist lived there. Mm. there. It was a it was part of a housing complex that they wanted to build underground. Mm. Uh, it was a it was a vent, which it actually is. Mm. It was a an art. It's just an art project, and mm. it is an art project in itself. Mm. The artist they asked an artist to build something that people could look at yeah and, and, and went, okay is. and he did he did that and yeah. it's just turned into an icon now exactly that's yeah. why it's they can't really get rid curious. of it no even though it could be just a stone block like it's if you like, go to clap them in there if you go to clap them there's these just these like they look like tubes mm. that come out of the ground and they're, they're just vents for the underground mm. a lot of them now like the old days it was they would have put a block of flat of houses up yeah. just doors mm. just so it looks like houses but yeah. it's not but he decided to go that route wow. so you know it's like really, i say the wharf road has been there it's, to me it's almost like if you will it's a landmark yeah it is yeah. it is a landmark you people yeah. people still say i'll meet you at the elephant and castle or yeah. i'll meet you by the glass block yeah because the mirror block because it yeah. is what it is yeah you can't say i'll meet you at the shopping center anymore no and they still have the pink elephant the old elephant at castle, pink elephant. Ah, uh, yeah, I it's round the back. Yeah, on top of a, the small elephant park shopping yeah. centre at the back there by the yeah. railway station. It's kind of too tiny. It's not not several. No, 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 it's the same one. He's, 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 he's I think one? it's I think I it's eight foot long. He's a he's a big old beast. Yeah, he's about six to seven, eight, maybe eight foot long. He okay. stands at about four and a half foot to five foot tall. He's a big old beast. He's carbon fibre, mm. but it all glass fiberglass. Okay. And he's now stuck on top of the building behind until they finish the building, and then he's going to go back onto the front of the building. Oh, that's good. Because, oh, that's good. as I said, he's a landmark. Yeah. I mean, you buy the pink elephant, mm. that's all there is to it. Yeah. 
So exactly. I, even I don't know who came with the color, but it's okay. Oh, that was the color that the guy had on his. Yeah. On his, he had a pink. Oh. It was a pink elephant. Pink elephant. Okay. Well, it mostly started off as a grey elephant that mm. got over time just got yeah. washed out and yeah. and whatever the colour they used for the tower yeah. just bleeded into it and he became a pink elephant. Pink elephant. And now it's a pink a bright pink yeah. neon pink elephant. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, he's still round about there at Elephant Park. Yeah. I know they've got a giant elephant as well, a wire elephant across the front, which is nice. Even though someone's just graffitied on it, which I don't yeah. get. And so yeah. wow, that's huge history about Elephant and Castle. Elephant and Castle Wolf Road. Road. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got. I don't know much about Peckham. Yeah. Camberwell was the same thing. It's just a yeah. junction, junction in the road. Yeah, that's still a basically a junction. It still is. Yeah. Mm. All right. It's got a big hospital and, yeah. and all that kind of thing. But that was because that's where it was because of the Salvation Army. I'm just hoping Army. that, like Elephant and Council, I'm just hoping that they are going to develop. Oh no! It's it all going. Well. It's, it's going to be. And uh, places like New Cross, I'm just hoping mm. that. New Cross, New Cross is quite difficult because New Cross is quite old. Mm. It's not as old as say Woolworth. But it's it's quite old in itself because of Telegraph Hill and Samuel Pepys living at the top mm. of the hill, yeah. and he was the writer about the Great Fire of London mm. and all that because he could see it from his garden at the top of the hill. Mm. And New Cross has always had a good a long history, but it's it shifts because now it's more like a more of a collegiate town, mm. in other words, because of Goldsmiths University, Addy and Stanhope School. Mm. Uh, Cross Keys, Sixth Form College at the top of the hill. They're all, it's very, very education based. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where it used to be more, like it was where people lived. Mm. Now it's more people where people go to school. Mm. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, being that the overground goes there, it's still going to be very popular. It's always yeah, going to be a place yeah. to live. Yeah. You know, same as Peckham. Peckham. Peckham's got a big African community now. So, where it used to be, it was predominantly a white area. In the, back in the 80s and then as the African community started to come into the country mm. they, they migrated to Peckham because that's where other people lived from mm. their communities mm. now you've got big African markets and mm. yeah. you know big mm. fabric stores and all of that and it's yeah. you know it's a yeah. beautiful place to go it is I was there not a long time ago it's actually improved mm. you know? well because they spent a lot of money yeah. the face cleaning of it up Peckham is changing mm. yeah. but they spent a lot of money cleaning it up purely, yeah. purely because it was so run down. Mm. You have to remember Peckham back in what 1820, 1830 mm. was a place to go. Mm. It was a place to go visit. Mm. And they used to have the guys with the top hats and the ladies in all the big dresses used to mm. walk up and down the high street because wow. it was the, the place to be seen. Oh my goodness. Because it was the end of the canal, it was where a lot of money was. Yeah. Because you had timber, brick, mm. all of that was all right at the bottom of the canal because Peckham was the end of the canal. And you used to go through here as well, through Burgess, and you used to go all the way up to the river. Fantastic. So, so yeah. To me, this is news, especially yeah. about Peckham. Uh -huh. Because if you if you follow, when you come out of Burgess, you cross over the road and you follow yeah. that long weavy path. Yeah. That was the old canal. So. Okay. That's the old Surrey Canal. So it used to go down there. Yeah. And then it used to go across the it's other side, the Surrey Canal the Road. The silent, the silent walk. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That that walk where it goes like in between the blocks of flats yeah. and or well, the industrial side on the other yeah. side. Yeah. That was the canal. Wow. And then it used to come up here and stop at the Wharf Road. Yeah. And then it used to go up to the river, mm. and then it would go down the other way yeah. to Surrey Canal Road yeah. and all along there yeah. to get round to into Bermondsey, which well, then it would connect back to the river again. So wow. it was it was a hell of a monstrous great canal. Mm. My dad used to remember it being there. I think uh, what you've just said, I think I'm gonna follow that route. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice it's a nice little walk yeah. because it, especially if you come if you start off at say you jump on the bus and you get off at. Uh, at Wharf Road there. Yeah. Everywhere you walk from as soon as you get off as soon as you enter Burgess Park, yeah. all the way if you stick on that straight road all the way down the middle, yeah. all the way down and then cross over and then it goes down that big curvy path which used to be mm. dead straight. Mm. But that was all that's all that's all part of the old canal system. Yeah. All the way down to Peckham and that used to be there used to be a big mm. basin there. Mm. Where where the library is now, that yeah. was Peckham Basin. And okay. that's where all the boats used to pull in to turn around and then get dragged back loaded up, unloaded and pulled apart. So yeah. Wow. And that was that's why Peckham was a popular place because that's where everything it's came. Exciting. It was all fresh it's and exciting new. to know this. Yeah. Really it, you exciting. know, people people don't realise that 
This South London has a lot of history. History, yeah. You go across the river, yeah, that's got more history mm. because of it was there from, that's mm. where most people lived back in the day. Yeah. Since, I think it's, I think London has been here since before Christ because the Romans had it, we were yeah. Londinium and then it was before that, it was towns yeah. and cities before, yeah. before the Romans came and built it up. Yeah. It's always been here because it was the perfect place mm. on the river where the banks were low enough but it was still accessible to the sea. So it was always, yeah. it was nice like that. It's a really interesting place. I think I'm gonna do some research mm. and also I want to see the actual pictures, images. Oh yeah, at that field. they're all online. You can, yeah. uh, you, yeah. can, you can look them up. If you yeah. put in on, it's more on to like uh, Wikipedia and okay. yeah. look at the history of all yeah. of Really, really interesting. And yeah. Like now you mentioned uh, yeah. Peckham, for instance, uh, you know, yeah. men uh, with these hats, oh, you know, yeah, women in these yeah. gowns. Proper, wow. like, proper toffs. Walking down the road with canes and things like this, walking up the main road. It changes, just and listening you just to you, say, you talk think about it. Peckham changes all my, yeah. I don't know, it's kind of changed all my thinking, you know, about Peckham. Yeah. Yeah. Peckham was a very well-to-do area because yeah. of that's where all the merchants and the owners of the factories this used is to so live. Because that was close. They wanted to be close to the factory yeah. but outside London. Yeah. And being at that time, Peckham was outside London. Mm. So they lived there, they could have big manor houses. Mm. If you listen to Sherlock Holmes, yeah. he travelled to Brixton, yeah. which was a town mm. outside London. That took him 40, <laughs> took him 40 minutes to Brixton, get to by Brixton as a town. Wow. Yeah. Well, they were all they were all, they were all like hamlets, and yeah. it's the same as like now, where as London grows, yeah. you take it in, like for instance, Dartford. Yeah. You look at Dartford. Dartford was always miles and it's miles and miles, miles, miles away. away. But now it's inside yeah. London. Yeah. And it's like development. Yeah. Exactly. It's part yeah. of. It becomes part of yeah. the city and how the city grows in its its own fashion. Mm. It, it, it's like a living being. It just. Yeah. Every now and urban again, urban area now. Yeah. yeah, and it's an urban area. But if you consider now, a lot of urban areas ain't so urban anymore. No, they're not because they've got so much open space and gardens mm. and grassed areas and things yeah. like this. Because people are realizing that we we yeah. are losing. Yeah, absolutely. And if we don't keep them, we lose our insects, and then our insects, we're all dead. Exactly. You know, if we don't pollinate our plants, we're done. Like just the other day, I was shocked to see a uh, grasshopper. Mm. I thought they never existed. In yeah, I had one on. I had one. <laughs> I had one on my bin the other day. I was walking around with it on my finger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he was he was nibbling on the he was nibbling on the salt of my hand. Wow. And yeah. blackbirds yeah. and crows and mm. ravens, mm. even to the river itself. The river is so clean now. Mm. It's so so clean. Yeah. It don't look it because it's a dark brown muddy colour. Yeah. Mm. That's only because we've got such undercurrents that brings all yeah. the dirt up. Yeah. Mm. But if you catch it just at the right when the, when there's not a lot of current and it's on a low tide, yeah. it's quite clear. Actually, you're right because one time I was walking down to Greenwich mm. and I was surprised um, to see clean water. I'm yeah. like, what happened? Well, it must be clean <laughs> if you've got swans, geese, yeah. ducks all having their babies on the river mm. and they're all there swimming in the river together. Yeah. Yeah. So it must be clean. Mm. And then you can eat fish from the river now. Yeah. I do love London white bait. Little wow. tiny fish, but yeah. you eat that, you eat them whole, wow. and they deep, they dip in flour and then just flash fry them. <laughs> so nice. Oh, I don't. There's a place in Greenwich called uh, Trafalgar Tavern. Mm. There's two, Trafalgar Tavern and the Pelton Arms. They both do them. L proper London white bait. They caught down in the estuary, but mm. they're London white bait, mm. and they're just they just fry small fish, and they are. So <laughs> Crisp, cr proper crispy, and then you dip them in like tartar sauce. And yeah, I don't mind with ketchup because I'm London. Yeah, but they lovely and crispy, and oh wow, they do yeah. winkles and mussels all caught in the estuary. Wow, because it's that clean now. Because all the boats, it is clean, yeah. Because the boats are all diesel. Mm. They don't, and they, if they spill, mm. they get fined. So they take care of their yeah. motors now, so they don't, they don't spill. Exactly. So the water gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. They still churn it up by like nothing and that. Mm. So it looks dirty, but it's yeah. not. It's beautiful river. You like more coffee? No, I'm fine, thank you. Right, 
So that, you, that's on me. No, 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 you're, you're, you're all good. You're okay. All good. Yeah, so that's really interesting. Thanks yeah. so much. No Adam. problem at all. No. no problem at all. Thank you so much. That's huge, huge. Like history. I say, if you do your research, uh, a lot of it you'll find online. Yeah. And it's it's quite interesting. This whole area is mm. and such a yeah. wicked history, especially yeah. the Elephant Castle itself. Mm. It's had such a, a weird, long, mm. strange history. Because it is what it is. Actually, when you mention about Brixton, that's another place which is totally changed. Oh. Brixton, uh, Brixton, Brixton of today and Brixton of 60 years ago mm. are two completely different places. Mm. 60 years ago, you know, there was it was still a very heavy black community, mm. but a lot of the community there were Windrush because mm. they wanted somewhere that they could call their own. Mm. And they moved to Brixton because it was a centralised area. And then it was, a, again, it was a working class area because of the train yeah. line and the underground all went from there. Mm. So, and then Windrush, and then it's basically stayed Caribbean for the last 60, 70 years, if not more. Mm. I think even more. I yeah, think I think it's more, more like Caribbean people. Yeah, it's basically since, I think it's since about 1920, 1930s, so about 100 years. Mm. So it's a long time for one group of people to stay in one area in one and area. for generation after generation to mm. be in that one area. Mm. And I love Brixton. I, I just think yeah, Brixton it's is, is, I like is fascinating. Uh, it used to be, back in the 80s, it, you didn't go to Brixton if you were white. Mm. You didn't walk down back streets. I'm so glad to know that's all gone. Oh, really? you still don't walk down certain streets at certain times of the night because there are yeah. not the nicest people. Okay. But, yeah. you know, you have to just... It's the same as you go anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You don't walk down a back street if you don't know it. Exactly. And you're not known by the people down there, mm. you know. Mm. But, as I say, it's one of the places that I do love to go. Even just passing through, it's just so, li so alive. It's so alive, yeah. And there's lots of... There's more... Colombian people moving in now into mm. London, into the Elephant Castle. There's a huge Columbia. Colombian yeah. community in, yeah. in the Elephant Castle now. Yeah. They've got all under the arches, they're all yeah. co uh, Colombian restaurants. Yeah, I think they're all Colombian. Yeah, yeah. all arches. Colombian. I think all Colombian. Yep. Yeah. All bar, I think there's two shops right at the end, and one of them's a cab office. So, yeah. <laughs> but, but most of it is, yeah. most of it is, it's really good. It's a lovely place to go out. It is nice. You've got a good few restaurants now under the new bits there, the Italian, the French, you've got a nice big gym, which ne the Elephant Castle never had a gym, or well, it did when the shop, when the old swimming baths was open, mm. but that was an old style, and now you've got this new gym, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. The whole area is just so good. I mean, Elephant has Castle has changed completely. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's going to get better. Once they, once they finish doing the refurb, mm. And then Wharf Road and that whole area is changing too. That's all because of they're doing this street zoning system. Yeah, mm -hmm. We're making it more pedestrian friendly. Yeah. Do you think they're going to knock those flats? I don't know when they were built, probably immediately after the war or during the Second World War. Um, when the war passed, I think they're just behind Salvation Army officers. Where's the Salvation Army office? Is it uh, walking towards... Oh, that end? Yeah. Up there? No, they're not going to no. demolish them because they're listed. All the oh, old, they're listed. Okay. Not the flat itself. The flats there are going to stay because they're, yeah. they're they're relatively new. They've only been up for about 40 years. Okay. So it was an office block and then they converted it into into flats. But there's a, the streets behind the Elephant and Castle yeah. next to the railway line and all yeah. of that. Mm. They're, they're listed. They can't touch them. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, they can't yeah. touch them. They are. Mm. And they're worth about a million and a half pound a piece. Okay. So you can't touch anything along there. They're doing a lot of building work up there, mm -hmm. and they can't they can't touch any of those. They're all they're all they're all listed. Actually, so. you're right because I'm like, why are they building there? Why can't they improve this? Yeah. Okay. But then build then build like I say. When you consider that each one of those buildings there is about a million, million million and a half each, four story, old Edwardian Victorian houses, yeah. they can't get rid of them. People would do their banana if they got rid of it because they're original to the area. Yeah, they're quite original. They are original. They are yeah. original to the area. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, we just have to, you, the thing is you just have to work, you have to listen and look around and find yeah. mm -hmm. what is mm -hmm. local. 
Mm. And my favourite thing is it, when you go anywhere, just walk around and get lost. Actually, they're history as well. Yeah. yeah. Just go around, walk around and get lost. Yeah. Walk around the back streets, disappear mm. down a back road, go, hang on a minute, where the hell am I? Mm. Just walk until you find your way out. Mm. And a lot of people don't do that anymore. No. No. They stick to the main roads, <laughs> fast and easy. No, no, no. Walk, walk, past the, uh, walk past the Uncle building now, yeah. which is the new building they just finished. Mm -hmm. And then all those back roads, that's how the whole of the Elephant Castle used to be. Wow. All like tenement style, long rows of buildings. Fantastic, really nice. Wow. But really easy good. going. Yeah. Oh. Adam, thanks so much. I appreciate no your time. No problem at all. No problem. I really, really appreciate your time. Okay. No problem, thank you. Thanks so much. Here we go.